Here's 10 things you should know before you buy your cheap budget inflatable paddle board. Here we go. We have gone on so many adventures on these boards with our friends and they they take anything. When you're docking, sometimes the board can kind of scrape. Just when you're putting it away and into the bag, it's kind of taking abuse. These things take abuse so much better than any fiberglass uh, board would. Yeah, than a hard board. That Ooh. being said too, we've even um, bumped them into like piers and no pops, no dents, no nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they come with a repair kit. We have never had to touch that. It's really nice that they give it to you for a peace of mind. We always bring ours with us. Yep. But um, thank goodness we've never had to use it. So these have weight capacities and each one's rated on every single board. You want to take the entire payload capacity and then take off 25% of that weight and don't exceed that. And that would include total everything, so your body weight, any snacks or drinks or bags you want to bring with you, any camera equipment. Passengers. Passengers, uh, furry friends. Um, if you want to go fishing off of them, make sure that that fish that's going to pull you isn't going to be too heavy either. Um, yeah. We've yeah. had some uh, of our buddies come with us and we've had people well over 300 pounds paddle with us, no problem, and they've had a lot of fun. Yeah. It just sits lower in the water, um, so your ankles will definitely be getting wet uh, if you're exceeding that capacity. But I bet you if Sarah and I stood on this board together, either one, we'd be fine. Oh yeah, we should try that. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. <laughs> definitely water. So 217 plus, you know, however, little extra. These are absolutely the cheapest way to have a water fairing vessel. I got this one for 230. Maybe at the time when I looked at it recently, it was, I think it was like 349. 349. But I'll, I'll, I'll check that um, and we'll put it up on the screen. What's cool about these is that they completely float. They're totally fine. They float, they work, they get the job done. We bought a spare just because we wanted to paddle with our friends. We were able to invite even more friends along, which we wouldn't be able to be in a position to do if they were $1,400. No. We wouldn't no. even have one for both of us. That yeah, paddleboard for, would have to carry us both. Yeah, for a high-end <laughs> inflatable, we would probably still not be out on the water today. Yeah. yeah. We, all the memories we have, all the fun we've had, we would not have had access to. These are extremely portable. They're so portable. You can fit them in the back of a car. You can fit them under a sink. You can fit them in a closet, fit them in a shed. Um, I have a Mini Cooper and two of these fit in the trunk with all of the Kuchuma, including the paddles and the pumps. Uh, we've actually even fit like three of them in there, four. Yeah. And a kayak, a blow up, inflatable kayak. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. When you purchase them, they come completely ready to go. So they'll come with a paddle that floats, so if you drop it, you're fine. It comes with the pump to pump it up. And what else? A, a bag. bag to carry it in. 
The bags are the worst. The bags are the absolute worst. They'll, they'll probably last you like two or three trips in reality. Yeah, before they start tearing apart. And that's if Shredding. you keep them out of the sun. Um, the seams just aren't that stable. So the pump that it comes with is going to break. For it's sure just a matter of time. Maybe give it a year. Yeah. Even, even if, if you store it inside. Even if you store it inside. The seals just aren't very good and the they are going to break. It's not going to work. The, yeah. the, 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 it's going to leak. You're going to have to get a better pump at some point. It's already leaking. So our recommendation would be to use the pump for as long as it lasts. And then once it breaks or once you get too tired of pumping things up for yourself, look for some other options. They have pumps that you can use your car battery to pump up with, or the one we have is a rechargeable battery operated pump and- Effortless. It's effortless. The pumping process can also be really, really time consuming. So, and- uh, Like 15 minutes per board. Per board. Minimum. Just pumping out in the sun, baking, all you wanna do is be on the water. It's gonna be a process, you're gonna get tired. Also, it's important to know that when you're deflating the boards, when you're done with your paddle, that portion of it goes very, very quick. You can pretty much get packed up in about five minutes. So that part is very easy. We have three inflatable paddle boards and one inflatable kayak, and we don't have issues with the valves in any of those. Um, two of them are secondhand, one is brand new from Amazon, um, and we've never had an issue with that. But what I will say is just always test your gear before you go on a paddleboard trip. Like our first trip was probably 30 minutes out and 30 minutes back. And to be fair too, before we even left the house for the first time, we pumped them up just to make sure there was no holes with them. Yeah. Um, that they would pump up, how long it would take, if the pumps would work. So I would always say before you plan on using any of your gear, like just definitely put it to work before you need it to work. All of that being said, we have never had an issue. Not once. Yeah. No. It is important to take note of what position your valve should be in. They, they push down or up. Depending on which model <laughs> you have. Depending on what. They're not consistent they're across not, valves. They're not consistent. We have both styles. So just figure out when you're pumping, let some air out to figure out which way the little button inside the valve, which way that should uh, be. There's nothing more demoralizing than thinking you're doing it. And then you pull the pump off and all of a sudden half of the air came out. And it comes out really quick underneath force because these are not toys, these are real. <laughs> when you're fighting for those PSIs, when you're using your own pump up, um, it's a lot of work. And so every little PSI counts. It's, it's some serious calories. Most boards will come with some type of strap along the front. Maybe uh, if you're lucky, something in the back too. But basically you can bring a bunch of snacks. You can get waterproof bags and bring all kinds of stuff with you on your board. Um, and it's really convenient and fun. We always bring like a couple of waters, sodas, throw our shoes in there, phone, everything so that we can dock and go get some lunch and then set back out again. If you were thinking about getting out in the water and you've been looking at making an investment into a seawater vessel, these inflatable paddle boards that you can find, um, whether it's secondhand or off of Amazon for under 300 bucks are totally worth the investment. Would 100% recommend. With our reviews, we really stuff we go out and do and have fun doing. We wanna be able to share that with you. 
there's so much stuff out there that you can be able to do. We want to make sure you get the most bang for your buck and have the most fun you can. Thanks for tuning in. We love you.